59 seats for the Congress party, 21 for her, uh, for the BJP, nothing for the AAP, two seats, two or more seats for the JJP plus combined and four seats for the INLD. That's the breakup. So it's running away. The Congress seems to be running away with the elections, nearing about that 60 seat number, which is a runaway win for the Congress party. So the Matrice polls right at the bottom, you see them. That are part of the mega polar polls, the first set of numbers that have come in, 59 for Congress, 21 for the BJP, 4 for the INLD, so 2 for the JJP, nothing for the R. Th this is the median that they've taken. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, Matrice has given the, uh, the range. Yeah. The range is Congress 55 to 62, hmm. BJP 18 to 24, INLD 3 to 6, JJP 0 to 3 and others 2 to 5. So, 55 to 62, if they cross 60, that would be a two-thirds majority for the Congress. I yeah, mean, last I, time they had 31, so they've almost doubled. Doubled, uh, the and, and, and that then shows the trend that it's a big win and it's a it's an election for the Congress to lose. And the but these numbers are kind of not adding up if you look at them. Yeah, it's a median. These it's numbers a median are the median. Of, okay. These numbers so are the median. That. That's it's why they they Matriz, That's what Zaka yeah. was saying. They've released a range of numbers. Rashid right. Kidwa is with us in the studio. There you go. This is the range. BJP is 18 to 24. Congress is 55 to 62. JJP is 0 to 3. INLD is 3 to 6 and the others are 2 to 5. So clearly, uh, Matri is very clearly saying 46 is the halfway number. So the Congress very, very comfortably, not just a majority, but an overwhelming majority and almost doubling up its seats, as Zaka said, compared to the last time around the last elections. Rashid Kidwai, this is, is it capturing the trend and the mood on ground in Haryana? Yes, I think it's, it is going to be a kind of, if this numbers hold on, it will be a historic win uh, for the Congress. Uh, coming from a state that has a very uh, sort of, you know, strong uh, BGP footprint for last two terms, uh, this is also a victory, uh, 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 if it happens, translates uh, uh, on air, this will also be a, a victory for uh, Rahul Gandhi in a way. Uh, here, he, you know, his faith in a regional satrap that we Bhupinder Singh Uda, uh, that played off and Rahul Gandhi himself, uh, you know, do a lot of traction and this is something which is very uh, welcoming for the Congress party mm -hmm. for the time to come because next election is Maharashtra. If Rahul Gandhi starts, uh, you know, uh, getting support in uh, northern India and Hindi speaking areas, then that is going to be a game changer by the time 29 elections are held. Hmm. So, you are saying despite Rahul not aggressively campaigning in Haryana compared to the Prime Minister it and Amit Shah so for the BJP and it, it being is... largely championed by Bhupinder Huda, the rub-off will still be for Rahul Gandhi whenever because the fact is that he is the face or he is the man behind in the shadows. Absolutely, yeah. Is that what Advaita Kala agree, disagree? No, alternatively, I think the, I mean, to be fair, the elections where the Congress has done really well, Rahul Gandhi is kind of backed off from the campaigning there, no Rashid? I think the it, only contribution really, because, is holding see, the it's hand. Like no? a, yeah, like a micro management, uh, you know, management striking a kind of, you know, balance between uh, regional satraps. There are a lot of the kind of issues that were, you know, raised. So there is a Rahul Gandhi stamp is, and look at the way, you know, nobody would have believed that it would happen in, so to say, in Modi era, that a, that a BJP leader, you know, holds a public, uh, you know, uh, kind of meeting, uh, that being uh, Ashok Tanwar, and next time, within an hour, he's, he's in the Congress camp. So, so that's I, 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 I